Hi guys, welcome back to our course on NumPy. In our last lecture, we covered the method of iterating down to scalars in higher dimensional arrays using nested loops. And today we are going to learn about the ND iter method. So let's get started. So first of all, what is ND iter method? So the function ND iter is a helping function. It solves the basic issues that we faced in iteration. So in basic for loops, if we have nd array or n dimensional array, iterating through each scalar element would require n loops, which can be difficult to write for arrays with very high dimensionality. So what we are going to do is use nd iter method. So let me just write Python 3, hit enter. I'm going to import numpy as np. So iterate all the elements or all the scalars or iterate down to the scalars in a 2D array. So this is an example that we are going to do using ND iter method or function. So first of all, let's create a 2D array. So you know the procedure how to do it. We have done it almost 50 times or more i guess so create a 2d array the so elements of a 2d array are 1d arrays so pass them close the brackets and hit enter so array has been created successfully now i have to use one for loop with nd iter method or nd iter function so for x in np dot nd iter and I am going to pass the array name. So I have written the command and now I'm going to write the print function. So print x and hit enter twice. So I got the result. As scalars. So the result is scalars and we didn't need to use nested for loops. So we iterated down to scalars with help of one or only one for loop and one nd iter function. So now the question is, why is nd iter function more convenient? So you can say that why uh, or you can ask that why should we use nd iter function rather than using nested loops? Because all of us are habitual of using nested loops while iteration. So nd iter function is convenient because we don't need to use nested loops but you might have a counter argument that you are comfortable with using nested loops but then my response would be you can use nested loop for 3d array 4d array 5d array but the array is of thousand dimensions let us consider that we have an array of thousand dimension then you need to write thousand for loops to iterate down to scalars in an array of thousand or array with thousand dimensionality. So nd iter function is convenient because we don't need to use nested loops here. So in general, if we have an nd array, we need to use n loops to iterate down to scalars. So if n is of order 100 or 1000, it will increase LOC or line of control or code, it will increase the line of code and effort of the programmer. So you need to write a lot of 
commands or lines in your code if you want to iterate down to scalars in an array of very high dimensionality. So we can say that ND iter function is more convenient. So now let's iterate down to scalars in a 3D array. So let's iterate down to scalars in a 3D array using ND iter function. So the process is same. We need to create a 3D array first. So elements of a 3D array are 2D arrays. So I need to pass those. You can choose any random values that you want to choose. So just past parameters and close the brackets and hit enter. Now you have created a 3D array. Now we have to write the for loop. So for x in np dot nd iter and we are going to pass the array name or arr. Now we are going to write print x and hit enter twice. So we got the desired result. So I can say that we are successful in iterating down to scalars in a 3D array. Now I have an assignment for you. So what you have to do is you have to iterate down to scalars in a 4D array or four dimensional array that you have created as a part of your previous assignment. So you have to create a 4D array and use end iter method to iterate down to scalars. Now let's move on to next topic, which is iterating with different step size using end iter method. So in last examples, we had the step size at one. So let's change the step size and look at a different example. So the co question is iterate in a 2D array with help of end iter function and with step size 2. So I have to create the array first. So follow the standard procedure. So I've created the array. Now I have to write the function. Sorry, I have to write the for loop and I have to use end iter function. So for x in np dot nd iter and I have to pass array and in array inside the square brackets, I have to pass only the step size. So it's going to be two. I need to use square brackets. So let's close the brackets and hit enter. Oh, sorry, by mistake, I used an extra closing bracket. This, let me just remove it and hit the enter again. So I have written the for loop now to write print x. So I got the result. So we have iterated down to scalars in a 2D array with step size 2. So the result is we iterated this 2D array down to scalars with step size 
2 and using ND iter method. So now I have one more assignment for you. So the assignment is iterate down to scalars in the 4D array that you have created as a part of your previous assignment. And you have to change the step size to 3. So in this lecture, we studied about the use of end -eater method. So that's all for today. This video is brought to you by Programming Knowledge. Please like, comment, share, subscribe and hit the bell button for updates. And stay tuned with us for next lecture on NumPy. Thank you.